Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Generative AI training videos on anubavtrainings.com. In the last session, we talked about difference between training and inferencing in machine learning. In today's session, we are going to look at what is NLP, Natural Language Processing. As you are aware that in order to understand and learn generative AI capabilities properly, we need to have basic idea on AI, machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning, LLMs, and that's when you are ready to dive into generative AI implementing use cases. So in this series of free videos, we are discussing only the basics. However, if you are interested to deep dive in these topics with a step-by-step -step approach of 20 plus real-time industry use cases with BTP Generative AI, you can subscribe our course on anubavtrainings.com. So let's get started our today's video to understand introduction to NLP, Natural Language Processing. So let's get started and talk about what is NLP and understand where do we use and when do we use natural language processing or so-called NLP. So first of all, what is the definition of NLP? So natural language processing is the subfield of AI that focuses on interaction between computers and human languages. It aims to enable machines to understand, interpret and generate human-like text and speech. So before we get in into learning the aspects of generative AI, chat, GPT like uh, LLM model or things like that, first we need to make computer understand our human language because usually Computers understand machine language or the byte language like 0 and 1. But how does you help and train computers to understand emotions of human languages? So that's where the natural language processing or NLP comes into picture. NLP has been used in variety of applications including machine translation, information retrieval, sentiment analysis and chatbot. So these are the use cases of once your computer understand the human language or it can convert a text to a speech or a speech to text, then you should be able to achieve translation of texts like, for example, English to Italian. Then information retrieval. Once you ask questions to the computer, computer can understand that question. Sentiment analysis. If I say uh, that was an amazing product, then my sentiment was positive about the product. So by reading thousands of tweets and messages online, I can find out sentiment of a product using sentiment analysis in NLP. Then we can also have chatbots, which is another very powerful application of NLP. And this is exactly what we will be building at the end of this use case for NLP. We will be creating a chatbot indeed as a practical implementation. Now, in recent year, NLP has witnessed remarkable advancements driven by the availability of large data sets of texts and speeches, the development of new machine learning algorithms, and the increased computational power of computers. These advancements have made it possible for NLP to be used for a wide range of applications and getting a better and higher level of accuracy. So, the main advantage here is the computational power, the multi-core CPUs, which is what can process your data at a very high speed, plus the availability of large amount of language and text data from internet, which were trained and created by a lot of people, created machine learning algorithms on, the, on those massive data. So that has given advancement to the NLP field. So what are the core components of NLP? If you are a developer, a software engineer like me and if you want to use NLP now we have to talk technically what we need to do in order to use NLP for our use case so first of all whatever question you ask to the computer or whatever input you want to give to the computer and you would want computer to understand that computer first need to tokenize our word our sentence so it will break down our entire sentence into small small words so-called tokens then next step is part of speech tagging 
it assigns the grammatical categories to the words for example what is subject noun pronoun adjective so computer will categorize all these different categorization for these words which you have broken down then it does in name entity recognition it identifies and classifies the entities for example if i am asking a question to the uh, to the computer that uh, what are the ways to learn sap ui5 so here ui5 is my entity which is the most important word in this whole sentence because that's what i want to learn whereas the other words some of them are nouns pronouns verbs right so computer will classify all these things and it will identify the entity what is going to be my entity which i am targeting yes then it does parsing it analyze the sentence structure to understand relationship between the words uh, yes so whether i want to do something i want to try something i want to execute something so computer will understand what is the intent of the user who is asking the question and finally it does a sentiment analysis which determines the sentiments expressed in the in the piece of text so if it is requirement is sentiment analysis if the requirement is like for example building a chatbot then it will understand the question what is the question from the user or if the requirement is to do translation then it will understand the purpose is for translating to source to target language so that is uh, how typically the different components of nlp comes into picture alive with that thank you so much for watching this video with me today if you feel this content is helping you kindly subscribe and share this channel in the whatsapp group of your company teams and i hope to see you in my next episode happy learning till then goodbye and see you again